Lauren Kelly has the best assignment today. Let's check back in with her now. She's out in Memorial with the answer to that question. Hey, Lauren. It is a beautiful day, and look, guys, I've already got a green thumb. I'm already certified professional. <laughs> I'm here with Rooted Garden and Nicole Burke, and I just want to point out, we, we checked in with you guys about 25 minutes ago. Look at the progress. Look how fast this progress is. We've gone from rocks to soil. It's ready to go, and now we're going to do some planting. Now, you got to tell us what goes in here and where it goes, how much space each plant needs. Nicole, what do we do first? Okay, so we love to put herbs on the edges of the garden in Houston. And it's a fantastic place to grow herbs because they grow literally year round. Okay. So we always love to put the perennial herbs like oregano, rosemary, sage, thyme. All things that are really used in almost every dish. You should be using okay. them in every okay. dish, okay. especially if you're garden to table. Yes. So we like to put those on the edge of the garden, something like this thyme. And this will literally grow year round here in Houston. Okay. You can say goodbye to grocery store thyme that okay. came from California. I'm all about so that. These go on the edges and then and in the back, we talked about the trellises before. Yes. So for this season, we're entering the hot season in Houston. So back here, we're going to have eggplants, tomatillos, long green beans, and a special kind of cucumber that can grow during the summer. Can you really summer. quickly tell me what a trellis is? So a trellis, I don't know where that word came from. I'm okay. sure it's from like France or something. Okay. But it's essentially a strong structure okay. that can hold a vining plant. Okay, so, and that's what this is behind us. Yes, yeah, so we gave a fancy name to this. This is actually a cattle panel. A cattle but, panel? But for rooted garden, it's a trellis. Okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's perfect because it maximizes the space. So okay. see every spot along this garden, they're gonna be able to grow a vining plant up okay. the back. up against the and back. And instead of that plant falling out, and taking up space in the big box, we can let that go up and grow vertically, okay. and then we have plenty of room to plant forward. Now, you told me there's a specific way that you'd like to mash up the, not mash it up, but separate it as you put it into the ground. Yes. And you also need more space than the actual box it came in. That's right, plant. so you definitely wanna dig a hole generally two, twice as wide. Okay. So here's the width, I guess this is more than twice as right, wide. Okay. And then the same depth as this right here, we call this the neck of the plant. Okay. So don't bury the neck. Okay. And then we're just going to literally slide this in. These are hardy plants, these are woody herbs. They can handle some stress, okay. something like a basil. You really don't want to separate the roots okay. like that because it's a lot more tender. So generally when we're transplanting a basil, you can see how much softer those gotcha. roots are. We're not going to do a lot of handling the roots. Okay. We're generally just going to dig a hole twice as wide. For the rest of it. Nicole's process, which is super simple, I feel like now I can take this information home with me yeah. or I can follow you on social media at Rooted Garden. That's on Instagram or check out your website. That's right, rootedgarden.com. Rooted and if you'd like a consult in your own garden, put in by Rooted Garden. Okay. You can order a consult right at our website, rootedgarden.com. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm going to go get my other green thumb on right here. I'm going to have two green thumbs for the day. It's totally Thank possible. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're the best. There's hope for what me. What a fun day. There's hope. You can do it. All right. Let's see what we're gonna put in next. Great tips, by the way. Thank you again, Lauren. And for more info on Rooted Garden, you can always visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.